Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. A lot of you guys have been asking when I was going to release this car. So today is the day that you guys can get your hand on the M4 that I was building for ESDA. This car was definitely a very fun project to build and definitely has a lot of cool features. So the model is very much done and it's an aggressive car. You guys have seen me drive it all the time so this was going to be my esda car but i decided to go elsewhere so we're giving it to you guys as a chance to drive it yourself the link and everything will be in the description box below but we're going to go rip this thing have a little fun with it so make sure you follow me on all social media which follow the description box below let's get to it so we're going to go full send we are at another Car X drift racing track. And we're just gonna have a little fun with this car. This car is definitely a super nice, flowing, grippy monster. And I'm excited to see what people think about it when they get their hands on it love to see some Instagram clips and stuff like that. We're going to go up. I don't know where we're going if we're going up. Oh, we just cut through the track. Okay. So, this M4, like I said, you guys have seen it from the beginning. This was kind of the original build I was going to do for ESDA and then decided to go a little bit different. And back to the older school E36. But this car is a super fun and aggressive competition car. We're in the dirt on that one. So I hope you guys enjoy this car like a lot of people have been asking when this car was going to be coming out for you guys to get your hand on it so now it's a chance to get your hand on this car. We're just sending this out before though. I hope this track has a replay angle. If not, we're going to be uh, definitely doing this in box cam to see it. A little bouncy section there, but we got it. Super solid car and very aggressive and very fast. A lot of hands we're in on this car's build initially and some of the parts and stuff are not from me of course credit is given in the credit of the car and the original base model as well we're gonna change view drive seeing a little bit third person action oh as we go third person we go right into crashing <clears throat> now these guys get to see a rare form of the underside of the car. Throw the Type S lights on. This car is so much fun. Just kind of hold and lock. Downshift to fourth. This car is super aggressive and very grippy and very stable so it's definitely a very fun car so i want you guys if you guys do give this thing a rip tag me on instagram or whatever in pictures or whatnot or maybe video clips i want to see what you guys are doing with this car i started building this car when i, I was not i did the same wall that's the same wall that was the same wall I started building this car when I was first really learning how to model. So if the model is not 100% perfect, that's why. But it is just light in the tires up in fifth gear. It's a fun track. This car has such good feel with snapback and initiations and inertia feel that you really don't need a handbrake for it and i'm excited for you guys to get your hands on this car and give it a rip for yourself so let me know down in the comments if you guys are do drive it and pick it up let me know what you think about it 
what you maybe like, dislike, things like that. You know, constructive criticism is always a good thing when building cars and things of like that. Unintentional 360. I'm gonna kick it this way now. Go back the other way. So definitely download the car and see what you guys think about it. I left a break there. Absolutely no handbrake needed with this. The road of forms going round and round. Snapback. Up in the fifth. So, <laughs> definitely a foot car. We're going to go run this on a comp track because, with the fact of just freestyling it, you guys got to see it on a comp. You guys have seen it on comp tracks before. We're going to go send it on another track. So, I'm going to change tracks. We'll be right back. So real quick, before we get fully into driving it again, I want to guys show you guys what base I'm basically running for gear ratio. I'm running 3.21 tires. I'm running actually 28 and 15. Uh, probably need to bump the tires up a little bit on that one. Fuel is 15. We're running negative 4.3, 17, 35, and positive 1.6 the rear, which gives us just about a bit of positive camber here on the right side. And then dampers um, are set preset drive, drive train. I'm running 23, 85, and 90. I'm running 70, 70 bias, and we're running 220 in the front, 200 in the rear. So this is my base tune that I run all the time. So if you guys want to set the base tune to that and save it or whatnot, that would be a good base tune I would recommend doing. We are at Daytona Road Course, one of my quickly becoming one of my favorite tracks definitely old reminisce of the Forza Motorsports day so full send here I threw that way too hard on angle but we managed to somewhat make that look good that way out wide so we're gonna get one more run on that and we'll take a look at the replay that's the wrong button i wanted to hit the pit button and we'll take a look at the replays that you see the end this episode off make sure you guys follow me on all social media i'll let you find the description box below i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i hope you guys do enjoy this car a little bit of uh, a treat for you guys coming back and watching another episode and following me here on the channel That was much better. That was more on the wall. Stretch that way too wide. Uh, and we're going to come in way shallow on that. Unfortunately, that was not what I wanted to do. But we'll finish the run off. And we'll take a look at those two replays real quick. To end this episode off. car definitely in a crazy aggressive car and i love it kind of a quick initiation on the wall a little bit off not too terrible there but could have been way better kind of washed the car out a little bit there so the bmw definitely super fun i hope you guys do enjoy the car and get your hands on it and let me know what you guys think about it as well as tag me in those photos or whatnot if you are using the car. Yeah, I kind of wonked that entry, kind of went way too deep and I shallowed up a little bit. I should have stayed committed on that line I was in. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, I'll find the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As always, I like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.